Yeah, you see, now that's what I'm talking about. Lamborghini Mucciolago. That's my kind of motor. Try parking in it, though. See how wide it is? You just gotta be bothered about parking, man. When you're driving that baby, you don't wanna be stopping, you know what I mean? Kieran, <laughs> isn't it about time you start setting up the bar? Yeah, in a minute. No, now. No, now? What's up with you? It's early, yeah? I wanted to talk to you about Liz. She's due back of a holiday today. So? So? I promised her a job back, didn't I? Who you employ's got nothing to do with me. But it does if it's gonna make you unhappy. Seems to me you're the one that's not happy. And why would that be, eh? What do you mean? Well, maybe you're starting to have doubts again. Maybe you think I was trying it on with her. Of course not. Whereas I thought we'd sorted the whole thing out. Yeah, we have. Well, then. Doesn't bother me if she comes back. And it shouldn't bother you, either. Sunita. Sunita, you all right? Yeah. Come here. I'm sorry I didn't make it yesterday, baby. It's just the police called me in, and by the time I left, um... Sunita? Maya came. What? What did she want? To go out, I suppose. She laughed at me. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill them. He's so clever, isn't she? And I'm so stupid. She stole my whole life right from under my nose, and I never... I should have been here. It doesn't matter. It's all gone, everything. No! Did I tell you they took my wedding ring? Put it in a plastic bag. And we're gonna get it back. Real soon. As soon as you're out of here. Uh, everyone's asking after you. I bought loads of cards and letters and would have taken them off me, but they said they'll make sure that you get them. And Shelley, Shelley. I don't want to hear about them. They're your friends, babe. They're all out there, aren't they? Doing ordinary things, getting on with their lives. And I'd, I'd give anything to swap places with you, you know that. I can't handle this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you look gorgeous. Marilyn Monroe and Dolly Parton all rolled into one. So how about a little cuddle for your greatest fan? Don't! You'll smudge me! Oh, please, just a cuddle. I'm not asking for our else. <laughs> you say that now, but if I let you get your hands on me, there's no telling where it'll lead. You've got no willpower. And whose fault is that? You don't know how hard it is being in the same room as a sex goddess. I've not been allowed to come near. <laughs> Good job I've got enough willpower for both of us, then, eh? My back's killing me. Couches weren't made for sleeping on. Oh, it's been two weeks now. How long have I got to suffer? <laughs> Typical. You think of no one but yourself. What about how I've suffered? Being accused of being faithless when all I was doing was having an armless night out with a mate. I know, I know, and I'm going to make it up to you. You keep saying that. But I am. I've got this special surprise planned, but it, it's, it's just it's not ready yet. <laughs> well, it'll have to be a damn sight more impressive than a manky copper necklace. It is. It's going to bowl you over, I promise. You'll be the envy of the streets. Well, let's hope it comes soon, then, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Until yeah. then, you'll just have to make do with Luki. Mm. So, we all ready for the big racing? Yes? Fingers flexed and ready to rock? Yeah. Yeah, it's good, because if anyone ain't interested, Ange, in winning that beautiful silver stitcher over there, I mean, no one's forcing you to take part, eh? If you don't want to earn twice the money for half the effort, that is entirely up to you lot. Uh, we're interested. Good. Yeah, yeah. Is there a prize for runner-up? Yeah, uh, two weeks in Ibiza with many a choice. Hey, Bagsy Brad Pitt. Yeah, then there's the booby prize, which is two weeks with Boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I don't know. Wouldn't mind winning that. Thank you, Kelly. Stop sucking up to him. His gussets is after, not compliments. <laughs> yes, very true, Lippy. Right, so then, girls, we all ready? All right, Hal's got your stopwatch. Good girl, on your marks, get set, go. Go on in and may the best girl win. Alice, I'm just popping out for a little bit. All right, keep your eye on this lot. Make sure it's all sort of fair and square. All right. I'm no stealing other people's nippers. You got that, Mince Meat? All right. I'll be back in about half an hour, love. All right. Right. All clear. It's for a cup of I'm not sure we should be doing this. Oh, shut up and get kettle on. Well, you said if no one's interested in the prize, I don't have to take part. We're not, are we, girls? No. no.
You early? Gonna tidy up, were you? Um, well, yeah, I was. I was gonna get the welcome banner out and put the champagne on ice. I'm not stopping you. Yeah, but uh, now you're here, there's better ways of celebrating, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Missed you, babe. Yeah, me too. So, how was London? Enjoy your fix? You bet. Oh, I've got to look forward to the credit card bill now, then, don't I? So are the boys. Been behaving themselves? Just about, yeah. It's funny. I really love being back there and everything, but... Well, I don't know. I didn't really feel like home anymore. I actually found myself looking forward to coming back. Good, good. Go on, I'll get you a drink. And uh, how about I'll take you to lunch? Oh, no. I've already arranged to see Maya. What, after all I've told you about her? Ah, oh, the old thing's ridiculous. Uh, they've just got their knives out for her. I don't know why everyone's so keen to take that Sunita's side. I mean, how did I know she didn't do it? Because no matter what you think of her, Frank, she ain't that kind of girl. And, um, anyway, Mike reckons uh, she's as straight as a die and I've got to trust his judgment. Where's that other bird, Maya, by the way? What do you really know about her? That she doesn't go eyeing up other people's fellas for a start. <laughs> very funny, yeah, very funny. Anyway, if I was you, I would swerve her. You don't want to get yourself dragged into all that. I'll see you, I like. She's my mate. There you go. You meant it? Of course I meant it. Only the best for my girl. So, uh, when do you have to be back at work? Well, I did say half an hour. Although, uh, I could be delayed, I suppose. The police will find something. Uh, she's bound to have slipped up somewhere. And a solicitor, a solicitor... Don't do. She's one. You know that as well as I do. No. no I'm not going to give up, and you can't either. There's this woman I share with. Paula. She ain't given up. Still claims she's innocent. Still reckons she's going to be with the kids again. She's been in here eight years. Yeah, but you won't. You're going to get out of here real soon, and that is why you've got to eat... She's driving her. herself mad with it. Believing she's going to get out. Better if she just accepted it. Better if we both do. No. I don't want you to come here anymore. What? I love you. If you love me, then you'll go, please. No. Then I will. Don't come here again. Look what the cat dragged in, huh? And what are you doing here? Ah, uh, the restaurant was too much like hard work. Decided I'd be better off here. Mind you, since you've been gone, it's been nothing but double shifts. So I'm glad you're back. Well, it's nice to know I'm still wanted. Kira, will you go and shift them barrels for me in the yard? How are you? Fine. How was Brian? Same as he. Bit of a busman's holiday, really. <laughs> I'm surprised Bet didn't want to keep you on. Oh, she did her best to persuade me to stay, but I said, sorry, I've already got a job. I have, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. I always keep my word. Come here. So have you really been? Fine. I've been fine, honest. It does get easier, believe me. I'll tell you what, I'll dump my stuff and then I'll set to. Liz. Before you go up, there's um, something I need to tell you. Me and Charlie are back together. It's just confusing. I mean, can't we have one cough for go and two coughs for stop or something? My throat's sore enough as it is. Just pay attention. Any road, it's dinner time. Oh, right, it's for time. Yeah. Are you coming, Kelly? Um, I can't, no. I, um, I've got to go down my exes, you know, pick up some stuff. Only, um, I've got to do it while it's not there, you know. Oh, do you want us to come with you? No, it's all right. It's all right. Oh, come on, we're your mates. We don't mind, do we? No. Oh, no, it'll be fine. Oh, well, as long as you're sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See you later, look. Yeah. All right, yeah. see you. Yeah.
Who's not turned up then? Yeah, she's upstairs. I've uh, told her about you and me, you know. Not that it's any of her business. Yeah, but she's got to find out sooner or later. So what's she said? Nothing. She didn't look too pleased, though. In fact, I won't be surprised if she brings her bags back down again. You reckon? Well, I can't see her staying here now. Yeah. Well, at least this way she can't get you for unfair dismissal. Anyway, maybe it's better all round. If things are going to be awkward between you, you know. Look, what I said this morning, I didn't mean to say that I didn't trust you. I know. I shouldn't have snapped you. No, no, it, it was my fault. Yeah. Well, we'll say no more about it. Get to point. Let me get that. May as well start somewhere. So, how are you, Charlie? I'm fine, thanks. Good. Shelley tells me that you're both back together. That's right. Well, I'm glad you managed to sort things out. Look, I'd like to put all that business behind us. Let's just get back to normal. Well, that's fine by me. As far as I'm concerned, things already are. Yeah. Have that on me. Well, that's a turn up for the box. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Four pints. Maya, good to see you. <laughs> Have a glass of wine. So, how's London? Brilliant. Did loads of sightseeing. You know, Harrods, Harvey Nicks. <laughs> now, that's what I call a holiday, especially without a man there. Oh, yeah. Can't be doing with them. Sat outside the changing room looking at their watches. <laughs> We're not ready yet. Just give us a few minutes, eh? No problem. So, what have you been up to, apart from marrying illegal immigrants? You heard them. A bit hard not to. You're the talk of the town, darling. So, come to suss me out, have you? See if I really did do it. But don't be daft. They're just looking for someone to hang it on, and you're the obvious target. It must be awful for you. Well, I can't say I've been getting much sleep. Frankly, I'm sick of the whole thing. Anyway, I decided I deserve a break, so I'm going to Italy on Friday. Who knows, I might even stay there. You're joking. Of course. Doesn't mean I don't feel like it, though. Well, I can't say I blame you. So, do you reckon it's in behind all this, then? Only she don't strike me as being bright enough. Probably. He's very manipulative. You know, I bet he was doing this all the time I was with him, and I didn't even know it. Maybe that's what all those little conversations and meetings were about. Nothing to do with her being ill at all. He's a nasty piece of work. You're well out of it. You know what really hurts? Is that I bent over backwards to be nice to those two. I even went to their wedding. Well, they invited you? No, I just wanted to go along. Show them I didn't bear any ill feeling. Yeah, you did, didn't you? I mean, after what they did to you. Well, yeah, but... Oh, I decided there was no point in being busy. You just destroy yourself that way, don't you? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, no one was as shocked as I was when Sunita got arrested. I really felt for Dev, you know? I called round the next day to see how he was, but what happens? Suddenly, I get all these accusations flung at me, and I get thrown out into the street. I mean, the man's mental. Well, he'd have to be, wouldn't he? To think he can get away with it all. Well, whether they get him for it or not, at least he's got his punishment. His precious Sunita's behind bars. Not much of a honeymoon for him, is it? And with any luck, she'll be there for a very long time. Ready to order, ladies? Oh, sorry, we haven't chosen yet. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when she told me they were back together. I mean, what's it going to take to convince her? A full-blown affair? I'm not sure even that would, to be honest. Do you know, you'd no sooner gone than he was trying it on with somebody else. Who? Oh, you'd never believe this. Only Gail Platt. Gail? You're joking. No. But they didn't actually. Well, no, not according to Gail, but that didn't stop him from trying. So, I suppose you'll be looking for another job, will you? Oh, no. That is just what he'd like. No, I want that job. I want to be near my son, and I want to watch Amy grow up. So, if I have to be as nice as pie to him, then I will. And then when he does finally slip, I'll be there to push him just a bit further. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you later. Ta-da. Choosing work over a pint? Oh, well, you know, dead keen, me. I kind of got that impression. Uh, listen, thanks for the compliment, by the way, even if it was a lie. You said it were a lie? Well, whatever it was, it made an old man feel very happy. <laughs> You're not old. Well, I'm old enough to have a son your age. Not as good-looking as his dad, though, is he? Well, maybe his taste isn't as good either. Because if I were him, 
I know I'd have gone for that, Andy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But don't tell Hales. I don't want her getting big-headed. I'll let you get on. Don't want you losing the contest on the account of me. Cheers. So how long are we going to keep this up for? Well, Andy, now. As long as it takes. We have to show him that he can't just manipulate us, that if he keeps pushing for more, he gets less. Otherwise, there's no telling where it'll end. Yeah, but the less we produce, the less we get paid. Hey, she's got a point there. It's not so much the money I'm worried about as the dishonesty. I quite like Mr Baldwin. Oh, and how about you, Sean? Come on, you may as well chip in. Oh, I'm easy, me. Hey, she weren't asking that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, can we all just take this seriously for a minute? If he thinks we can produce more, he'll be asking us to meet tighter and tighter deadlines. And as for overtime, well, you can forget it. He's right there. Now, are you with me or not? Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Hayley? Yeah. Look, we either all do it or there's no point. All right. I'm not happy about it, but all right. Oh, I'll see you later. See you later, Hayley. Take see care of the mustache. See you later. See you later. See you later. Ah, just a man. Listen. Have you got that bath yet? Yeah. It's at the yard. Great. Great. Here. I've got the cash deal. You weren't serious, were you? <laughs> Never more. Only saved my life, is that? <sighs> Look, Les, wouldn't you be better off with something new? I mean, it's not exactly what I call modern, and it's big and all. The bigger, the better. Then we can both fit in. Mm. Yeah, well, it's not like your bathroom's big, though, is it? Oh, oh, I get it. You just can't be bothered shifting it, can you? No, I'm just trying to be straight with you. Listen, you're not facing the rest of your life on the couch. I'm not in a nookie for two weeks and my back's killing me. Please, please, I'm, I'm desperate here. <laughs> what can I say? It's all yours. Oh, when can I have it? We only need doorstep tomorrow. Yes, bring out the aftershave! <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. You don't look like nothing to me. I just got here like a minute ago. You never got that pile done in one minute. Oh, flipping heck, Hayley. It's not like you agree with ghost law anyway, is it? Well, maybe not, but I don't go cheating on my friends. Well, they could have worked through the dinner hour if they wanted. It's a free country. We all agreed. No, Sonia made us agree. She's a right bullying cow. Anyway, I need the money, Hayley. Oh, please don't tell the others. They'll kill me. Oh, Kelly. You all right? How did it go? Yeah, we're all right. Hey, you don't have to put a brave face on for us. You know, we've all been through it one way or another. Well, we're a bit upsetting. You know, end of an ear and all that. Yeah, it must have been. Yeah. The bit that really killed me were dividing up CDs, the ones that we bought together. Oh, you poor thing. Oh. Come and have a drink with us tonight. We'll yeah. soon cheer you up. Yeah. I'm sorry. I can't listen to any more of this. Oh, Ellie! Other folk need the money as well, but they put their friends first. What are you talking about? Go to working, didn't I? It looks like it. She'd been at it all lunchtime. You what? You lousy what, rotten... So you were just making it up about your boyfriend? Of course you was, the oh, lying Chris. scumbag. Right, lady. <laughs> you are foreign now. You all right? That was a stupid question, wasn't it? How was she today, eh? She's, um... She's very depressed, you know? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She doesn't want to see me anymore. I don't think she can stand that. You know what? I don't think I can either. I mean, it's killing me seeing her in there, knowing there isn't a damn thing I can do about it. I've uh, done us some lunch. I'll be through in a minute. I just want to have a word with Dev. See how Sunita is. OK. Doing? Just trying to get past. What the hell you were? Oh, come on, let's not start all that again. I thought we were being nice to each other. Did you see that? What? Nothing. Didn't matter. The mineral water, please. Sure. Maybe if I go and talk to her. She probably won't want to see you either. It's like she's gradually switching herself off from everyone. Preparing herself. For what? Staying in there. Oh, Dev, don't say that. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do if I lose her, Shane. I don't think I could bear it. 
chance stringing up that Maya. You know she actually went to see Sunita? You're joking. I had the gall to sit there in front of her and laugh at her. I mean, she's destroyed us already. You know, that's not enough. No, she's got to stick that knife in just a little bit further, just that I need to talk to you. Yeah, well, if you're about to plead the innocence of your friend, then you can forget it. I'm not. Just the opposite, really. Why? What is it? A while back, Maya told me she had this wedding to go to. Was that it? No. Look, for all I know, I could be barking up the wrong tree here. No, 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 go on. Well, a few days later, we were out having a meal, and this taxi driver came in. He recognised Maya and came over, asked her how married life was. What? He reckoned it was her wedding he'd taken her to. She just laughed it off. He said that he got confused, and I didn't think anything of it at the time, but now... You, but wait, would you recognise this guy? I mean, would you remember what he looked like? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. Thank you. Over on ITV2 next, catch up on all the latest from last night's live show. It's the X Factor replay. Next here tonight, it's Heartbeat, and then Michael Kitchen stars in Foil's War. These men are so brave. We call them the few, but who could have thought this country could have produced so many of them? That's at nine. <laughs>